Hi, welcome to Three Questions with my friend Lisa Swanson with us from Body and Soul Coaching. Good morning, Lisa. Welcome to the show. Hey, Kevin. Good morning. How are you doing today? I just live in the dream. So, Lisa, I asked you to come on the show today because I have a question. I was talking to a friend, and she hasn't worked out in many years. And she told me, hey, I'm trying to get back into working out. And I'm looking forward to going to the gym because I used to run five miles on the treadmill at this speed. And I know I can still do it. And I was like, can you text me after this? Let me know how that goes. And <laughs> it didn't go well. Let's just leave it at that. Right. How do you help your clients find that true starting point where they're going to get benefits but not hurt themselves? That is a great question because you're right. Too many people think that they can just hop right into what they did before. And they are, they're going to get hurt. Not only are they unfit now because they haven't been doing anything, but they could be older, right? And joints are a little bit stiff right now. So you have to make sure that you are taking into account what is going on now. And I really think that this is a place where a lot of programs fail. Um, and not even just with the workout part, but also with the uh, with the mindset and with the um, with the nutrition. So what I like to do is I actually realized this as I was bringing people in the program that they just had too many things that we were trying to do all at once. I said, OK, before you even start the program, we need an onboarding week. So everybody has to go through an onboarding week, a full week before they start the program. So during that time, it's like, all right, I've got some, some simple tests for you to do. So let's find out what is your cardiovascular endurance? How, how far can you get in a six minute walk? Are you walking it? Are you running it? How far are you getting? So I'm figuring out their endurance. How many pushups can you do? How many, uh, how long can you hold a plank? So we're looking at some crucial numbers here that'll be like, okay, now I know where I need to start you physically. How much, what am I going to give you for your workouts? Let's set your weights, making sure all of that is going to go well. And then cardiovascularly, are you starting with a run? Are you starting with a walk? Do you need five minutes to begin? Like, and that's not a bad thing. People will feel badly, I think, right? It's like, well, I, I don't want to start with five minutes, right? I used to be able to run five miles. And it's like, well, if you keep trying to run five, five miles, you're never going to get there. Mm -hmm. But if you start with five minutes... Yep. you're going to get there because you're going to slowly add things on and next and you're not going to hurt yourself. You're not going to get injured. You'll be able to continue rather than going five miles and then being laid up for a week and then trying to get and being laid up again for a week. And you know, you know the story. Um, so, yeah. Right. So that's the part with the physical part of it. Then nutritionally, they also get this. It's like, okay, I know when I did keto, low carb, low fat, high protein, whatever it was, when I did that before I lost weight. So they dive right into doing that diet that they did before. And they're like, why isn't anything happening? Right. Or I'm starving all day long. This isn't working for me. I haven't logged their food camp before they even can do anything to change the diet. It's like, just record how you're eating. That's all I want to know. From there, I can say, okay, I know how you're eating. And I know that this is causing you to gain weight. Now we have something to work with, right? We can, we can, you know, yeah. you said people try to go from, I joke, eating like me, eating, you know, lots of junk to, hey, I'm going to be eating perfect. And it just, it messes with your body, especially when you're exercising. It only makes sense. You would need, you know, a healthier meals to offset the, the working out. So I can see how easy that trips people up. It really does. And just think about when you go from eating how you are now, let's just say you really have you know, a lousy diet. You've got no vegetables and you're eating out, et cetera. And then you try to change everything. Now you've entered the diet mentality. Nope. Well, let me eat like this to lose weight. And it's not going to be sustainable. Then it's like, okay, now what do I do when I'm done eating like this? You didn't learn anything about lifestyle. So instead, if you take how you're eating and say, let me just start getting a healthy breakfast in. And I know it sounds like this is going to take too long, Lisa. I don't want to do it that way. But it actually takes less time because if you do it gradually, you're not going to slip up, so to speak, and go back to old habits. You want to get those habits that are going to be sustainable. Now it's like, okay, now I get it. Now I can go on vacation and not gain weight because I know how to eat for my lifestyle, for my body, for my workouts, all of that. Uh, I think that makes an enormous difference in being able to make some progress. So last question today, temporary setbacks. So I think I told you, I got a new pacemaker a couple of weeks ago. So I didn't run for like two weeks. And mm -hmm. I actually saw the difference when I got on the treadmill again two weeks. I'm like, 
not quite keeping the pace that I was keeping. That's yeah. okay, right? You just gotta Absolutely. build back up. Absolutely. And it's, it's, it, I love that you said it's only two weeks. It doesn't take long. This is why it has to be lifestyle. It doesn't take long to start to lose muscle. It doesn't take long to lose your cardiovascular endurance, but it doesn't take long to get back to it either. If it's only been a couple of weeks, it doesn't take long. So you take, take a week, just acclimating yourself to see what you can do. Lay off a little bit. If it's too hard, it's okay. Whenever I used to not be able to get to the gym, whether it was a vacation or an illness, an injury, I'd go back. I would say, I'd go back to the beginning right? Just for a couple of weeks. So let me just go back to a basic full body, basic moves. And then the strength comes right back and then you can get back into it again. Just listen to your body. You'll get so much further. That's a perfect way to end up. So listen to your body. How do people reach out to you? How can they learn more, my friend? Well, the best way to reach out to me is to go to my website, bodyandsoulcoaching.com. There's all kinds of information on there about what I do. And, uh, and of course, you can find me on social media, Lisa Swanson Fit. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate you taking a few minutes out of the day to come on the show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. You're very welcome.